you, if you're a longtime viewer of this show, you knew this segment was coming, and not just because of that thing on the right of the screen that says so. Dick Cheney's performance yesterday on Meet the Press. Cheney's use of both evasion and intimidation was pretty representative of the way that nearly every CIA defender has avoided answering the tough questions raised by the Senate's report. This is my favorite Cheney moment from yesterday when Chuck Todd asked him what his definition of torture is. Well, torture to me, uh, Chuck, is uh, an American citizen um, on his cell phone making a last call to his four young daughters shortly before he burns to death in the upper levels of the Trade Center in New York City on 9-11. Now, I don't want to make light of the events of 9-11 and people dying, but Vice President Cheney was asked directly his, for his definition of torture, and he told about a terrorist attack. It's a, ridiculous, it's a ridiculous answer. It's just totally manipulative, and it doesn't remotely answer the question, because if that is literally his definition of torture, it means that American soldiers could draw and quarter uh, an unarmed combatant in some other foreign country. That would not be considered torture. This is because he's citing one example that is not, by definition, a definition. I had... Uh, another favorite moment we've seen that was misdirection. Um, so now we're going to look at a different kind of Dick Cheney uh, move here, which is intimidation. Um, this is the response that Chuck Todd got when we when we when he asked, "Quote: When you say waterboarding is torture, then why do we prosecute Japanese soldiers?" It's a really cheap shot, Chuck, to even try to draw a parallel between the Japanese who were prosecuted mm -hmm. for war crimes after World War II and what we did with waterboarding three individuals, all of whom were guilty and participating in the 9-11 attacks. Um, what, what I enjoyed most about that is first the cheap shot thing, immediately right off the bat, and then the, the un... Uh, the, 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 something that flies in the face of the evidence in the report, which he says there was only two, three, three people who were waterboarded. The port report has many, many more instances of that. All right, one more, another example of evasion. This time Chuck Tad asked the vice president if things like rectal hydration meet the definition of torture. And but you acknowledge this was over and above. That was not something that was done as part of the interrogation program. But you won't call it torture. Uh, um, it wasn't torture in terms of it wasn't part of the program. So if it's part of the program, it's not torture. There was no torture as part of the program, and if something was maybe torture, it wasn't part of the program, so he didn't address it. Obviously, this is, to me, the biggest weakness of the critics, which is there are plenty of things you can say critical of the methodology in the report and some of the mood music around it, but for people like the vice president not to address the actual issue here, which is some things were done by the United States government that were torture. If I have a if I have a program that specifies certain kinds of activities, and then people who are engaged in the program decide to go off books and do all kinds of other things, th th those things can still be torture. I think that's actually the entire point of the Senate uh, report. So, he, or one of the big points of it. So, what is Cheney's game here? I mean, what is he trying to do? Does he think people are just going to like believe this, or is he just trying to muddy up the atmosphere think, with a I lot think, of like? Uh, I think he and Hayden and the other people who came out, they've been working on a plan for a long time, and they just decided they would go to. The their strongest points, play a lot of post 9-11 cards, play a lot of um, uh, games with the interviewers and hope that in a live television interview, you're never going to really be pinned down if, you want, if you're going to give non-responsive responses. It's a shame because there's a lot to learn from the report, even again, if you're critical of certain aspects of it. Yeah, absolutely.